Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to make this 3D shape in Microsoft PowerPoint in really easy and simple steps. So let's get started. So first of all, what you are going to do is let's go to another slide, remove the extra slide contents that we don't need. Go to insert option pictures and search for online pictures. So once you are, once you click online pictures, you can type earth and you can find in any suitable shape that you want let's say for in this case we are going to use this one and we are going to select insert now we have a circle shape over here and now we can see that it's it looks pretty much uh, good enough and we are going to make slight slight adjustments to these ones and for that what we are going to do is we are going to reduce the size first and then make sure the size is big enough not too small and not too big so we are going to keep enough distance from the sides and then what we are going to do is we are going to go to design options format background and going to choose a dark background let's say black now you can see that there is a slight uh, background to this shape double click on this shape go to remove background and it will automatically remove all the space that you don't want so let's say if you want to remove some places are not removed so what you can do is mark areas to remove and then or mark areas to keep then you can see that keep this one circle or select the areas that you need i'm going to do like this let's hope it will do the job properly and you can work on the other parts which are not selected and then you are going to say like this and similarly like this so try until all the areas is, uh, area is covered and make sure all the area is included in your uh, diagram and the uh, space that you need within this chart is all covered in in the picture so Guys, uh, things are done. We can say keep changes. Now you can see the picture is pretty much smooth. Now what you can do with the picture is you can select on the picture and then what you can do is go to the glow option and select glow option as white and then you can increase the size of the glow as much as you want. Let's say we keep a little bit glow to this one and change its color to white. Now see the glow is too uh, sharp. You can reduce the, uh, reduce the sharpness of the glow and you can decrease it to like this amount. Now the thing is now we have to create a core of the shape. So for that what we are going to do is go to insert option, go to shape options and then what you are going to do is take a circle and make sure the circle is big enough to keep the boundary. So once you are done with this one you can see that the height of the this circle and this one should be same with the sphere that is uh, the shape is that, that is at the back. Now copy this and paste it. Similarly go to rotate options and say rotate 90 degrees and similarly Make sure that this end is equal to the length over here, which is like this one. I'm going to reduce, increase a little bit more and make sure this one is also like this one. So now select these two, go to more shape options and select fragments. Now guys, if you observe, we just need these two parts, this one, this one and these three. So select them, combine them all, go to shape format options and say no outline. Now you can see that there's a slight gap between, so you can select move them a little bit inside and it will come all together inside now this shape is done now the other thing which we are going to do is we are going to hide this part over here so for that what we can do is go to insert option take a shape and then take a rectangle i'm going to do select this one like this and i'm going to do it like this and make sure i'm going to choose a color which is shape less black now i'm going to remove the outline and do something like this similarly what i'm going to do is i'm going to select these ones and bring it to the front now you can see that this part is successfully done and we have easily removed the side that we wanted and we, we kept this part as one picture. Now select all of these, go to shape format, merge shapes and union. Now once I do a union, this slide will, this shape will become as one single part. Now you can see that I cannot separate them into separate parts. Now copy them and paste them again. Now this time what you are going to do, change this color to white. Now once it's done white, make sure you remove its background. Decrease its height, let's something like this. Put it over here and now you can see the gradient of the shape over here. Now reduce the shape from here like this and now adjust its placing within the diagram. Now I can make slight adjustments and make sure my picture looks a bit, uh, the circle looks a bit uh, nicer and uh, even. So for that, I can also tweak in a little bit with the manual functions which I have, which is like I can use edit points and I can select and move them inside a little bit. But it won't look too tidy so i would recommend you just to do it like this and then once you're done copy that again and paste it now this time change a different color and choose a dark dark golden color 
So it all depends on what kind of colors you have in your core. So you can choose those colors according to your own choice. Now, once you're done with this one, you can copy one more and paste one more time, reduce the size, change its color to a different color, let's say orange this time, and you can put them over here. Now reduce the size again, and you can adjust its height and width according to, uh, according to the design that you want. Now, let's say we can do one more thing inside. We can use a pattern fill option. We can choose this one option and it looks much more natural. If you want to choose, you can also choose a, a pattern fill or you can also choose a texture fill. So in texture fill, you have already different options which includes different textures. For example, if I choose this one, it looks much more natural. Now, if I go with this one and go for a picture or texture fill, then I choose another one. And if I go with this one this time, it looks a bit different now. Now, similarly, if I choose this one, and I go here and say fill a pattern fill or some pattern or texture fill go over here again I choose this one it looks a bit different now and for this one I'm going to finally choose a more different color which is something like this so guys there are different ways you can use and are order to make them different and other uh, or to make them a bit more realistic with the figures that you want to draw so now uh, last part about the labeling what you can do is Choose this one, which is the freeform shape. It can have a really nice, uh, nice, uh, uh, nice symmetry. For what you can do is click first, hold the shift button, and you can see there's a blue line coming over here. If I zoom in a little bit more, okay, I can zoom in a little bit more. So let me just zoom out a little bit first. Now you can see if I go to icon option, shape options, and if I select this one. I select over here and then you can see there's a blue line coming over here. So once I press shift, it makes sure that the line is fixed and it's more straight. Now we'll zoom out a little bit so that I can easily see what's happening. And I will select like this, click over here, shift button. Now make sure that you have enough space for the rest of the uh, rest of the parts to be labeled. So now shift again and put it like this. Okay, now escape when you're done. Similarly, take the shape again. Now select this one, make sure you are on level of same level. So right now the, the shape is already selected. So what you can do is select here so that you can have a good margin. Like this, sh shift button again. And now you can see that it has an equal distance between both of them. Click over here again and make sure it's straight again. Shift the hold button, press the hold button and you can select another one. Okay, press escape once you are done. Take another one. Similarly, put it over here, select like this, hold the shift button like this and make it like this okay so now this shape doesn't has enough distance between them so i'm going to manually move it a little bit up so that it has enough uh, distance between three of them now this one comes like this now we don't have enough distance here so what we are going to do instead is select here like this and then we are going to do like this so for the last one we're just going to make a straight line so go over here select this one and make it like this so now once you're done, you can manually adjust the distances between them, select all of them like this, manually go to the line option, solid line, no line, solid line. Now you can click here, increase the width. So once you increase the width, you can change its color to white and then you're done. So now you currently see that this shape was already selected. So you can just simply click no outline. So now these slides are already connected. What you can do is go to insert option, shape options, take a small circle and put it over here like this. Reduce the size a little bit. Now you can see the size is reduced. Make sure if you want a little bit bigger, you can zoom in a little bit inside. Make sure the height and width of the circle is same. Just say no outline, shape fill as white. Once you're done with this one, you can see that they are not equal. So I'm going to manually do that and make sure they are same. So control shift, bring it down. Select both of them, control shift, bring it down. Okay, and now manually move it up. Control shift and down. So once you're done with this one, we are going to work on the text part. You can simply add a text like this, put it over here, inner core, and you're done. Select all, right? Currently it's black and font color, so that's why you cannot see. Now I've changed the color to white. You can easily see that. Now I will increase the size a little bit, make it bold, and I will put it over here. Now similarly, I'm going to repeat the text. So for convenience, I'm going to copy the same text from the my previous slide and copy these two also. Copy that and paste it over here. So as you guys can see, there was a slight difference between the previous one and this one. So I'm going to manually move them and make sure that they are adjusted and are equal, uh, are in front of the main uh, main points that they are to be labeled. Now, once you're done with this one, for the animation part, what you can do is select all of these. So first of all, select this one, this one, group them. Similarly, this one, this one, group them. These circle and this shape, group them. 
circle and shape group them and similarly like this one so once you are done you can select all them one by one shift and hold them go to animation options and say wipe so for wipe option you can say from left so if the, i will just switch on the auto preview and you can see what happens with here so animation pane i will show you what happens so first of all let me just remove the previous one which i added so now you can see that these ones are showing that it will uh, it will start when you click so if i say play from you can see the speed is too fast you can select them manually increase the duration from here to one minute one minute one second and you can see how they start now if you want them to appear after these you can select all of them and say fade so now you can see that this one and this one are starting at the same point and it will appear when you click so once you click over here and say start after previous so it will come after they finish but the second line will come after this one comes so i don't want that one so i will select all of them set start with previous so when the first text will come this one then the other remaining text will also come with this one so this is how what i mean so once these start the first text comes then second all the same at the same time now if you increase the speed or increase the duration now you can see what happens they come slowly and like this now similarly we can add an animation or fade to this one and add a fade a little bit one minute to this one and say uh, repeat after the last text so repeat after previous and say start with previous or you can just say a little bit delay that means this one will come first and then after that 3d tutorial will come so let's just increase the delay a little bit more and then we are going to go in the foot slide so let me just select all of them go to transition mode and say morph and then i'm going to go in a full slideshow mode so guys this is the shape that i showed you before and you can see how does it appears the earth 3d tutorial i will go to the next shape and you can see easily how it transforms from one shape to another because this shape was a square this time that's why it looks like this one and now once i go to the next part it will show the inner slides the earth and 3d drawing tutorial i hope you guys like this video and watched my previous videos do watch them if you have any requests please leave your comments down below and i will get back to you till then take care allah hafiz